Hey, welcome back to the Go Kids News. We're bringing you the news that matters. That matters. Uh, make sure you grab your thing here. What is this thing called? It's a booklet. A booklet. Super important. We are on not week one, but week two. And yes. the topic is gratitude. gratitude. So thankful. So thankful for everything in our lives <laughs> and everything that Jesus has done. But first. But first. We need to see what's new with Leif. Hey kids, welcome to What's New with Leaf. My name is Leaf and my daughter is... Olivia. And we are so glad to be here with you today. We love to celebrate things, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you love to celebrate, Olivia? I like to celebrate birthdays. Birthdays. Oh, there's so much. By the way, when is your birthday? October 24th. October 24th. That's right. I need to make sure I, I do that. Yep. Hey, mm -hmm. guess what, Dad? Yeah. It's your birthday week. What? <laughs> Oh, wow, I love birthday weeks. You know what, that's what we do in our house. We celebrate birthday weeks, but some of our kids like to celebrate birthday, birthday months, month. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know what? We are talking about thankfulness and gratitude today. And I love that because during birthday seasons, we get to write things to people and celebrate them and tell them how much we're thankful for them. So today, as we get ready to dive into GoCore, let's get ready to learn more about thankfulness. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Leif, for bringing us What's New. What's new? I'm thankful. I'm super thankful. Well, I'm thankful that you're thankful, that, that we're, thankful we're thankful that Leif brought us What's New. Thank you, Leif. And guess what's next? Is it the Nick and Morgan Show? It's the Nick and Morgan Show. I'm so thankful. <laughs> we'll see you there. Hey, go kids. Welcome back. We're back with another challenge. Yep. And today, I'm not sure what we're doing. What are we doing, Morgan? Well, today we're doing the peanut butter challenge. So oh, we have... Yeah. A little That explains why glass. there's peanut butter all over yep, this. Yeah. It has a tray all of peanut butter. Oh, okay. And it matches. You see how it matches? Yeah, it's the same. So we're going to race and see who can lick the peanut butter off. You have to follow the trail. Oh, it's a good thing I love peanut butter. From beginning to end, the first one to finish wins. We have to like all this off? All of it off. I mean like as best you can. Like if there's like a little smudge left, that's okay, but. Okay, all right. Here we go, guys. Are you going to do it? Yeah, okay. all right. Let me you gotta fix your hair. You gotta, I don't want you gotta hair get right it now. up. There we go. Okay, here we go. All right. You gotta make sure it's centered. You so gotta we have make to start sure. start here. You start over there. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Three, <laughs> two, one. Go. Okay, yeah! I can't keep going! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> when you do this challenge, you need some milk, okay? Mm -hmm. That's or the first water. thing you need. Or water. <clears throat> well, you did not do good. I couldn't, I couldn't, my whole mouth was like dry. Yeah, I love peanut butter, so that was... <laughs> and don't get the runny peanut butter, no, okay? No. Gotta get the thick peanut butter. It yeah. worked out good. Here's the thing, you don't it. have to do it on plexiglass. You don't have to do it on a window, nothing like that, it right? It doesn't have to be peanut butter Get it on either. a plate, anything, right? You just have to get it off as quick as you can yep. against another person. Nick, you won this one. It's all you, it's all Victory feels you. so good and very sticky. Okay, well, that's today's challenge. We'll see you guys next time. Hi there, friends. Hey. Do you like to make crafts? Well, I certainly do. And let me tell you, there is something in this box that's going to help me make something fun. Would you like to see what's in it? Okay, hang on, here we go. Oh my goodness. I love decorating, and I love it when I just have a simple piece of paper that I can put things on, like pom-poms, and ooh, any of you like to use the dots with the marker? I love them. I have regular markers too, and letters. As you can see, I am starting my craft box, and I began with putting crafts on the front, so hey, Pull your crafts together and make something fun and put a little craft in your day.
Hey, congratulations to Nick, Nick for finally winning! You did it for once in your life! <laughs> we're so thankful! So thankful, and I'm really thankful because we're gonna head over to the news that really matters. That really matters. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and today I'm bringing you the good news segment. And today our story comes from Luke chapter 17, and this one gets pretty crazy. Jesus was walking into a town when a group of 10 men came walking up to him. Now these 10 men had a disease called leprosy. Leprosy was a skin disease that was all over their bodies. So they kept their distance from Jesus because it was pretty contagious. But they came up to him and asked, Jesus, have mercy on us. They wanted him to heal him. But Jesus told them, go to the priests and cleanse yourself. On their way there, they looked down and their entire body was healed. One of the lepers came running back to Jesus and fell at his feet, thanking him for healing him and all the things that he had done for them. Jesus asked him, weren't there 10 of you? Where are the other nine? He noticed that only one of the lepers came back to thank him. So he said to the leper, rise, your faith has healed you. Now, I don't know about you, but it didn't sound like Jesus was too happy that only one leper came back to say thank you. He wanted all 10 of them to come back. It's actually a good lesson for us. Jesus wants us to thank him for all the things that he's given us. I know that everything that I have in my life is thanks to God. Not only should we thank God, but we should thank all the people around us for everything that they do to help us in our everyday life. The good news is that at least one leper came back to say thank you to Jesus. The good news for you and for me is that we get to choose which one we want to be like, the one or the nine. I think you should choose the one. <laughs> That's all I have for you today on the Good News segment. We'll see you next time. You, but I love writing thank you cards. I'm actually gonna write some right now because sometimes you don't even know how much a simple thank you could mean to somebody. So the first one that I'm gonna write is actually to my mom because my mom is the best. She goes above and beyond for everybody that she knows. She helped me move all of my stuff into my new house when she didn't even have to. The second card that I'm gonna write is a thank you card to my friend, Becca, because she spent countless hours building balloon art for my wedding so that I could have something beautiful. And the third card that I wanna write a thank you to is actually my neighbor. He, the other day, he brought over all these fruits and vegetables to my house, and I had never even met him before, and that was really thoughtful. So I wanna make sure that I tell him thank you. What I want you to do is in your, in your bag, you have a thank you card, or you can find one at your house, but I want you to think of at least one person that you want to say thank you to. Maybe it's your mom and dad, or maybe it's a sibling, or a friend, or your neighbor, or maybe it's Jesus, and you wanna say thank you to him for all the things that he's given you. Whoever it is, take your thank you card and make sure that you give it to them after you write it to them. Because thank you goes a long way. You could tell that Jesus cared that one of the lepers came back and said thank you. So let's make sure that we never forget to say thank you to those who helped us. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pray. So I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes and let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you so much for everything that you have given us. Helpful, help us to have thankful and grateful hearts in every single area of our life. And help us to remember to say thank you to those who you put in our life to help us. In your name we pray, amen. It's been a full day of things that I'm thankful for. Me too. I'm thankful for Nick winning. I'm yes. thankful for Life bringing us what's new. Yes. New. I'm thankful for the good news. Yes. And I'd be really thankful if we got to hear from Baby Doer. <gasps> Which, thankfully enough, we do. Awesome.
awesome! Baby Dewey, what are your fun facts of today? Hello, this is Baby Dewey and Becca for Fun Facts with Baby Dewey. Hi, Baby Dewey, are you ready for some really fun facts today? I am so excited for the fun facts. Okay, I've got some good ones. I think I'm gonna stump you. Are you ready? I'm always ready. First one, of course you are. First one is, what is leprosy? Leprosy. Easy, that's like a tiger, big cat. Like, are you being like a leopard? Um, no. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, that is that is a cat. What we're talking about is leprosy, which is more of a skin condition, kind of like having bumps all over your skin. Like a mosquito bite? Yeah, like a lot of them all over everywhere. So that's what leprosy is, okay? Not a big cat. Got it? Got it, okay. Okay, okay. Now our next question is this. How many lepers were there that went to Jesus to be healed? 100. Duh, less. 1,000. No, less, that means like lower. Uh, hmm. One. Duh, duh, higher. One million? I'm gonna help you. It was 10, it was 10. That's how many it was, okay, so 10. Okay. Like how many yeah. fingers I have, yeah. okay? Got it? Yep. Yeah. Now, how many, after Jesus heals the lepers, he tells them, he tells them to go off and to go show the priests, and then while they go away, they're healed. How many lepers come back to Jesus to say thank you? Three. Uh, less. 100? We're not gonna do this again. Uh, it was one. It was one leper that came back to tell Jesus thank you. Just one? Just one. That's so mean. It is, it's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Jesus was really nice and he did something so kind and the other nine forgot to tell him thank you. Yeah. My mom always teaches me to say thank you to everyone. Yep. Oh no. What? I forgot to say thank you to my mom for making me breakfast this morning. Oh, well you're gonna have to make sure that you tell her thank you yeah, when I you get home. Go. Oh, like right gotta, now? Yeah, I gotta go say thank you. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, I guess that's it for Fun Facts with Baby Dewey and Becca. Thank you for joining us on the Go Kids News. The news that matters. That matters. See you next time. <laughs>